Hi everyone. So, what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna show a bit of seating. It's a little loud here. The furnaces are running. You know, it's snowing like crazy out right now. So, we're Patty and I are puttering around in here today on our so-called day off. No, <laughs> yeah. we don't get days off. So no. let's get right into the seating. Yes. Yeah, Okay guys, so just unfortunately the furnace is running right now, so if it's a, I'm not speaking loud enough, you know, apologize. So there's there's no right way or wrong way to do this. I mean we use Oasis here on our farm. There's rock well, there's other all kinds of different uh, methods you can use to see now. You can see this stuff is beautiful to work with. Uh, it's not wet right now, but I can just show you how easy it snaps apart. And I'll show you when we're done here. I'll transplant the last few in that tray and I'll show you how easy it is to work with. So anyways, this is a 10 by 20 tray, a one inch square cubes. Uh, there's 276 cubes in every, tr every tray. So, uh, I mean, depending on what you're planting, multiple seeds or single seeds, that's a lot of seeds. You know, look, one of these sheets will do four of our nursery trays. And then if you're doing multiples, well, it'll do two, easily do two. Which we'll explain. Yeah, we'll show as we go along. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what we do to start is I'm going to soak the whole thing down. Because this is pH neutral. It's not like rock where you have to, you have to adjust the pH. This is neutral. So I just want to soak this. And it takes a fair bit of water to soak this up. So what he's going to continue doing is just so filling it up till the water comes up to the top of the... Yeah. You don't have to be shy with the water because you're going to drain it off anyways. And one other thing is you don't want to put uh, too much pressure on this oasis as you're watering because it will yeah, rip it apart. It. You can see there's a fair bit of water in here. So now that that's soaked, I'm going to drain all this water right off of it. I don't want root rot. I don't want any problems down the road. So. Well, I, I've just moistened the whole foam because it is super dry. And he'll just go until that comes out as a little bit of a trickle. Yeah. And, well, you get, and you'll get a feel for how much you should leave in there. So that's about, that's pretty good there. So it's all nice and damp. So I'll pull out my seeds. Here's my big toe to seeds. I keep it in the dark, keep it cool under there. See the store. Here we have, over here you can see our nursery trays in the first section. I don't know if you can see that, huh? Yeah. Okay. And then as we transplant, one of those trays will do four finishing trays. And that's how we calculate what we what seed every week. Scheduling is probably the hardest part of this whole operation. Here's my collection of seeds. I, you know, I've got seeds from a couple different companies, Stokes, Johnny's, pretty well look. we use it here pretty much. So we're just going to show you how we do the multiple seeds. So normally when I we do the arugula, parsley, and cilantro, we're planting two of these blocks in every hole. And they stay in a finishing trough right from start, a nursery trough from start to finish. So this, this is a little tedious, but... Uh, Wayne at one time would not use a funnel. And then Haley made that little funnel out of a stove well, seed. Well, I still don't. Yeah, I do, yeah. But but we don't have stuff all over the place. So what are you yeah. planting right now? Arugula. Arugula. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I don't know how you guys use that funnel, so I'm not going to use it. Oh my. So I just, you know, a pinch of seed. Let me see. Eight, eight ten seeds. Yeah. Or more or less yeah, if you get. Try I, not to go too much less. I got some pretty big fingers, so I'm kind of messy. But you can see, it doesn't take long. I mean, you got a little. You need a little patience, but. Anyways, that's I'm just going to show them the seed in there. See the seed, guys? And see the seed all over, guys? Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, arugula is pretty simple, and it's a grower. I mean, it grows so quickly. I can show you right here. Well, there's an example of what you end up with about six days later, five, six days later. So, I mean, it doesn't take long. You can see how nice, and how well the germination yeah, is. Yeah, even, eh? Yeah. And so here's some cilantro. Basically, it's the same thing. I mean, I guess there's some mechanical seeders out there, but... So we buy the split cilantro. Cilantro is a huge seller. For anyone that's just getting into it at the market, that fresh cilantro, it's it's a huge seller. 
you know, we'll plant a whole sheet of cilantro, sometimes two sheets a week, you know, and then we bunch it up and, and we, we'll get about 60 bunches out of a sheet, you know, and, and three dollars a bunch, that's pretty good money every week just out of the, for the cilantro. And explain to them why you get the cracked. I bought because it germinates better. Yeah. You can see it here, it's, it's just the split seed. Uh, it might cost a few cents more, but not much when you're buying it by the... But but for the loss of the whole seed, it's, yeah. it really is worth it. It's, it's seed is cheap, oasis is cheap, it's all about time, right? So again, the same thing, we try to put four, I try to put four into a hole. So, you know, I'm not, there's nothing too precise. You, you know? just don't want less than four. Yeah. And that's, we found we get a nice bunch that way. And again, it doesn't take long. I mean, we can come out in the winter time, you know, Patty and I would come out in the evening, do some seeding, or we get the girls to do it in their spare time and when they're in here working. This is going to be a nice mixed tray. Yeah, well, I'll probably <laughs> just dump all these out later. Okay. We've got lots of so, I mean, cilantro. Parsley's the same thing. Again, a pinch of it. You don't uh, even have to do that. No, but the only thing I wanted to show was beet greens. This looks like a regular beet seed, right? So we do put two in per hole, and, th and they're quick, you know. Bang, drop two. And there you go. It doesn't take long. And we do, again, we do a, a tray of this these a week, sometimes two, depending on our schedule. Um, but it, you know, it's fairly quick. The Swiss chard. Swiss chard is the one thing that we we do a little different and again like I was saying seed is cheap always cheap but time lost time poor germination cost time so what we do we throw two seeds into every every hole we get good germination out of that but what we will do once these reach the stage where we're going to put them into a finishing trough we can go down there if you want, and we can show them what we've done. Yeah, we will. <clears throat> well, we'll pull a trough out, and I'll show you how we... I actually pull the extra plant out. We only want one plant per hole, but to get good germination and, and enough... We to be guaranteed the germination. Yeah, to guarantee. And it's more just so we're not wasting time in empty holes, because I find sometimes the germination, it's hit and miss. It, it, sometimes it can be 100%, sometimes it's 50%. And so, anyways, just to cover our time that we have enough when it's time to put in the finishing trough we have enough well germinated seed for lettuce you know there's the pelleted seed we only use pelleted seed it's so much easier to handle and i mean we won't go through all this but one seed per hole with the lettuce unless you're doing a multiple blend which we've never done really here i mean some people do it but we don't we just don't. so once the seed is in Let's pretend, guys. Yeah. All that is seeded. Yeah. So I've drained most of the water off, and what I'll do is I've got way too much in here. There's a liter or close to a quart of water. I'll just spread all over this whole tray. And just straight water. Yeah, just straight water. There was a time where we were using another product called Essential. You probably saw that in some of our videos. So when we first started, we thought, you know, we were benefiting from it, but we realized later that we were we were just Things are growing just as well. I don't know if you can see, here's another tray. And that was planted on Friday. What's today, Thursday? Today's what, Tuesday. Tuesday. So there's some arugula. So this is four days. Yeah, so let, uh, bok choy. And here's what I was talking about, the Swiss, or the, yeah, the Swiss chard. You can see where we put multiples in. There's some that probably aren't going to take, but most of them are coming up. And, you know, if we got a double, that's fine. We'll just uh, get rid of it down the road. So, so there you go. That's seeded. And then we'll put it up on the, on the heat mat. So it goes from seeding yeah. to heat mat. Yeah, we'll put the domes on it. It'll stay here till they germinate. This was just planted, a lot of this stuff on Friday. And some of it takes longer, right? Like, there's something popping up there now looks like arugula so generally they would stay on this heat mat for about three days parsley is the one that takes the time there's some down at the end and it takes you know up to 10 days you know, I've got something new here I don't know. so after three or four days of being up on the heat mat it gets brought down to under the lights 
So while it's on the heat mat, you are not going to feed it nutrients or anything. You're not going to water it. It's got the water that it needs for those three to four days. Then it gets moved down to under the lights where it'll get half strength nutrient. So if you watch our other video, you'll know what that means. Our last video. Something we're playing with new, new for us is some spinach. It's looking pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with it. it I mean, it, it, it might take us a while, but we'll get on to it. I'll pull one of these trays out. Some Tropicana, which is probably about 10 to 12 days old now. And you can see the roots are all nice white roots, all coming through the bottom of the blocks. And we can show you the development of this too. We'll go over to the next section there where we're at the, the nursery trays and show them. Yep. After how many days? Uh, it depends. Here it's 12 to 14 days. And again, depends on how much room we have to move things forward. You know, it's always an issue. We're always trying to move stuff ahead. So it's a big harvest day tomorrow. We're going to empty probably 10 nursery trays, 12 nursery trays. So that means we can move four or five of these trays forward. And then as these are ready to move down, you see we've got more here that needs to go in. More arugula. We sell a lot of arugula. So we grow, we plant lots every week. And it's ongoing. So let's go to the nursery. Yes. So here are the nursery troughs. And the nursery troughs have how many holes? 60. 60 holes. And see how they're close together? As where the finishing troughs aren't close together. And here's one I was ta telling about the Swiss chard, right? Well, I only want one plant. So when I go to transplant these into a finishing trough, probably next week, what I'll do is I'll, there's three there. I'll pick which one I like the best. This nice, sturdy, short, stocky one. So I'll just pull those out. Yeah. And that's what gets planted. And what, why I do that, I get the longevity of the plant. If I leave all three of these in, sure, I'll get lots of, lots of growth at the start and lots of stems, but I won't get 10 weeks of harvest out of them if I leave them in there, it shortens the lifespan of the plant up. So I'll do that, and we'll get a cut. You know, we'll get a couple months of harvesting out of there. So that's really why I do that, just to save some time. So that those those blocks are all taken apart from the big, big yeah, um, yeah, slabs, right? like that. Yeah. Here's some here. So that's what I was doing when Patty came in. You can see I just put break the seal. Easy there to break apart. That's so so quick and easy. You know, it's, once you've done it enough times, you get the second nature. You just, if you don't like what you see, you pluck, you throw it out. But it, otherwise, it's that, just that simple. Right? So do you want to show them how that is, how simple that gets put into the nursery? Sure. So this is how easy it is to uh, handle these troughs. Nice and light. Slide it down. Make sure it's in the drain at the back so it drips out through there. Put the water hose in and let them grow. Yep. Okay. It's as simple as that. Here's the arugula I was talking about earlier. So this is this will be two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Two weeks it'll be gone. Yeah. Well, it's about a four week turnaround for the arugula. We've got five different lettuces we grow here. We've got our muir, our rex, our red oak leaf. Tropicana. Tropicana. Yeah, that's our most popular one right now. This is probably our sweetest one, Muir, and we grow it all winter. It doesn't get the big ahead in the winter time, but boy, if in the mix, it's nice. And, you know, look at the roots on this thing. It's these beautiful. Things are, yeah, they're doing well. So these ones are now ready to go into finishing troughs. So let's go down to the finishing yeah, troughs we'll do and that show tomorrow, you. Tomorrow, right? Yeah, but we're going to show them right now where it's going to go. So here again, here's our. These are our finishing troughs, and I could pull one out. So these have 16 holes in them, and you can see how they're spaced out. Um, how far are the spaces between these Eight ones? Eight inches. Eight inches, and the nursery? As tight as you can get the trough. Just as tight as you can get? Yeah. Okay, so 60 holes in an 11-foot trough is what we've got. So let's go back slow here. Again. So look at the roots on yeah. that, he was saying. Yeah. Beautiful. It'll just be a mat of nice white roots when they're done here. I don't know if you noticed when I pulled these these troughs out, I have two holes in every trough. 
and that's so that I can just put it in this one while there's nothing in this spot. And then it's very simple to handle the troughs. Well, you put the hose in, everything's good. Yeah, <laughs> and it happens. You oh, just yeah. have to be super careful. So well, I hope that helps a little bit. I mean, it's pretty simple, and everybody's going to do it different. Right? Yeah. So, and we're still learning. We're still changing things up. We've been running this for. We're going into our seventh season, and uh, we're still changing things all the time. So tomorrow, um, or next video, we're going to show our harvest, how we harvest everything. Just little short clips, and it'll be a short video, but just to give you an idea of how it's done. And yeah, and we've had lots of questions, and we just can't get to them all, so we thought we'd do a little answering some some of the more critical questions we're getting on the uh, operation. Anyways, hope that helps. We'll see you all next week. Bye.